Hello, hello. Hello, hey Betsy. How are you doing? Wait a minute. Um, I had to hurry. Make sure I got everything. I forgot to get. Hey, Michelle. I forgot to get something. I'm gonna um, go get it real quick, and I'll be right back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Started. Hello, everybody. Um, happy Friday. Today is the fifth day that I have done Christmas in July live, and I have a new design today that I just came up with today. Um, somebody had mentioned earlier in the week, I forget who it was, that they wanted to see round, and I was just like, yeah, because these rounds, okay, these boards, they're kind of um, heavy duty. So to ship these is a little bit more costly. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get it better, but um, I do wanna offer these kits in, in the round version. So I have the um, round boards um, and we will see how that goes. But I'm really excited to show this design to you guys today because I just had the idea for it and the round thing was sticking out in my mind. So I threw out the one that, well I didn't throw it out, but I put to the side the one that I was going to do today and prepared for a round and made a whole new design. Um, so this design, I just did it this morning and I'm kind of excited to share this one with you. So, um, this board, though, is going to be all stained. So, this one doesn't have any trim. This one is going to be an all stained board with the paint um, stenciling on it. And remember, if you are watching this, if you sprinkle the video, push that little button down there in your right hand corner, it says S-H-A-R-E. Um, you will be entered into when one of the kits um, for free and I'm going to do a drawing I said I was going to do a drawing this evening um, I'm going to change the drawing time to tomorrow morning and the reason is two reasons I had to go I had to go live 30 minutes late today and the reason is because our sweet little puppy she had her um, she got fixed today and so her pickup time was a little bit later so it got us home a little bit later and I had to make sure she's all settled and snuggled and resting um, so he, our sweet little Luna Bell <laughs> um, was the reason why I'm late today so I do apologize for that and because after I get done um, going live I'm gonna sit with her um, on the couch and just make sure she eats because I have to feed her and do all those things and, so, and feed my family too so um it's probably easier for me to do the drawing for the free craft kit um, tomorrow morning, okay? So make sure you sprinkle the video, S-H-A-R-E, um, because you'll be entered every time you do that. And so that'll give you a little bit more time to do it. So if you think about it at midnight and you wanna do it again, fine, that's fine. If I wake up, I'll double check all my entries and I will go in the morning, um, probably like around 10, 10, between 10 and 11, don't hold me to a time. Um, <laughs> and I will pick a winner and um, message you and get your address and send you um, one of these five kits uh, for free. Yay, that's so exciting, right? So make sure you sprinkle, 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 sprinkle so you can be entered in. And then I'm gonna try and do some giveaways too. Um, oh, gotta see what I can come up with that. But anyway, so I'm excited. 
I have also put a link in my posting here when it was going live, um, the link to these craft kits. And I'm so excited because when I came up with this one this morning, I had like four or five ideas that came along with it. And so these would make some really great gifts too, not just to do for yourself. You could also do one um, for someone else as a really great gift. And in the process of all of this, um, I realized that some of you probably would like to have the thing that I'm making, but you don't necessarily want to make it. So I'm going to be working on the website to get where you can kind of like fake making it. Um, so if you'd like to buy the finished piece instead, it's still the same like shipping costs, whether I do it or not, it might be a little bit you know, more because I'm actually creating it for you. Um, but I think I might offer that option as well since I realized that some of you probably just prefer me to do it. So with that all being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with today's DIY. So it is a round sign, right? Wrong, it's not gonna be a sign. Does anybody know what it's gonna be? Can you take a guess? While you're guessing, I'm gonna go ahead and start staining it because this whole project is stained. And so I'm just gonna do the same barn uh, wood looking weathered look, whatever you wanna call this color um, stain. This is a um, weathered look. It's water-based, there's no odor. And this is the stain that will come in the kit, but you're totally welcome to do any other color that you want. Um, you don't have to do this one. I just like this color. This is the color that I've used throughout most of my home. And yeah, so it's just a favorite of mine. I just like how it goes real nice into the wood and it absorbs really well. And I'm going with the grain, you always go with the grain of the wood for best like application. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is actually um, do my little edge here. I'm gonna do half of it and then I'll work on the other side and do the other half of that. Um, the good thing about these boards is, they're solid, um, is you don't have to do the back, but you could if you wanted to. It's completely up to you whether or not you do that. Um, so, all right, everybody. This is like one of my, I just love this color. This is, I need to get more and more and more of this stuff um, because it is my fave. It has a little gray tinge to it, a little bit, but it also has like that brown to it. So here's like half of it, you see? And it would look good half too, but we're not doing that for today's project. We're going to do the whole thing. So I'm gonna get busy and finish getting this on there. And I like it because this color is so light. Like you don't have to really wipe it away. It will just soak right in and dry kind of real nice. So um, just some thought there for you. I don't know about the other ones, that you see like at the stores. Those kind of take some time. They have a strong smell to them. And I just really, really love this color. So um, this one I have to, this is a stain that I actually order. I don't think I've even said that this whole week. It's one that you order directly like online. So it's just one that a lot of people use in the sign crafting making like community, I guess or they make like furniture. This is a stain that they use that's real popular. So it's that barn stain. And I got just a little bit left here. And then um, I will show you guys the stencil for this project. I know you're gonna love it so much, especially because it's, what did you guess? Let's see, oh, you said sweet pup. Table centerpiece, very, very close, Joyce. It could be a centerpiece. You could use it as a centerpiece. Um, this is a Christmas design, okay? Because this is the last day of Christmas in July, July 31st. Happy end of July, everybody. So this is a Christmas design. But going forward, because we're going to start with like all the fall things and all the other things like around the home, 
a million other designs like kind of popped into my head today. So, um, just be, you know, looking out because there's going to be other kits that are coming as long as I can narrow down the shipping of this thing because this thing is heavy. Um, I mean, it's like three, four pounds heavy, which is not a lot, but in shipping terms it is. But anyway, um, the beauty of this is that there, you can do so many different things with it and they're, it's going to be coming. So, um, be on the lookout because I'm really happy about these. I, I'm really excited. This is not the first time I've worked with round wood before, but, um, it will be in the sense for these like kits or signs, if you will. Okay. So this is not a sign, but it's not really a table centerpiece. It totally could be, um, either or, but not entirely. So does anybody else have any other guesses as to what it's going to be? And it's Christmas. Anybody, anybody? If you are just joining, make sure you sprinkle the video. If you don't know what sprinkle means, I will spell it for you. It means S-H-A-R-E, because we can't really say it on Facebook. There's some algorithm for that. But what it does is when you sprinkle the video, it helps me grow my page, which I totally appreciate. It's free for you to do and helps other crafters join us in the crafting like little community, okay? All right, so this um, board is, it's still damp like on the edges, like where the heaviest coat of it is. And you can kind of see it's slightly, oh look, I missed a little bit there. Did I miss a little bit there? I can't tell, did I? Oh, I sure did. Um, so it's slightly darker on the edging. Um, let me make sure I get all my bases here but it's not like super wet. There's no order either, so that's so nice. So you can leave it like this, or some projects that I have done just for like my own personal thing I haven't even shared through the blog or anything, you can take a little bit of like white paint and smear it into like almost dry brush white, watery white paint. Um, into the stain and it kind of even gives it a little bit more of that antique um, like weathered chippy like wood um, which I love that look I did a frame for I don't think you guys can see it I did a frame um, for a map that I made like that I actually used a gel paint stain and then I put the white like watered white into it and it was so gorgeous I love that color too so a thought so any any more guesses as to what it is no nobody all right I'm gonna go ahead and reveal the design can you tell what it is now see what see my stencil it says dear Santa here's our favorite cookie some yummy milk and carrots for the reindeer love your favorites <laughs> And so I made this design this morning. I just put this to kind of together, use some different um, graphics that I had and everything. And so what you do with this one is you can leave it kind of like this on the design, but you see it's like more of a square base with a round thing. So this stencil is actually one that you can cut and play with the placement of each of it because this is not a centerpiece, this is not a sign, but it's going to come with handles. Now do you see where I'm going? And it, it will be a tray that we are going to stencil. And you can serve this up, you know, when Santa comes to town, right? So how exciting would this be for your kids um, or grandkids to even make together like super fun so what I'm gonna do is I wanted to make sure I spent a little time sharing with you guys um, just what the stencil looks like before I start cutting it up so this is what it's gonna look like this is what you would get in the kit the wood the stencil and the two little um, brackets and then the holes are pre-drilled so um, you'll know where to do them so mine are like here and here so if I am looking at this, when I go to stencil, I wanna make sure like it's right side way to me. I'm not responsible if you 
stencil in the wrong direction, okay? So you just need to be aware. That will be in the instructions. Um, but your two pre-holes are your indicators that that's your right and your left of your board. And the, you know, the grains are running up and down on this one. So that's where, you know, you need to map out where you're going to lay your little stencils. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get to cutting and playing around with how we want to stencil this on. Because this is, is stained. It's so wet. But the beauty of this is that we can go ahead and start and it will kind of soak in. And then I have a little trick to keep it from bleeding because this is an entire stained surface. One of the biggest fears with stained wood is that you want you don't want bleeding because the, the stain allows the seepage and the soakage and all that. I recommend that this dry for a little bit first before you stencil it, but I know we're live, so I'm gonna have to go along with it and do my very best but i the best result will be that you've given it some dry time okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm cutting each little piece that kind of goes together so this deer santa part with the stars and the little tiny snowflakes see that so it's kind of like a curved little topper. And I'm gonna probably put it like right there at the top of my board. Then I kind of have one, two, three, four sections left, right? And you can place these any which way that you want. Um, that's totally up to you. I kind of like the idea of, I'm just gonna cut it right up the middle. I like, the, um, like it looking like a letter that kind of flows left to right since that's what this kind of is. So like the love your favorites is gonna be down here. And what you could do too is, I'm gonna, we'll see um, how it goes, but I think I'm gonna be able to get this to where, well, I created the stencil, but um, I might offer it to where you can sign it like love, you know, Timmy and Jimmy or <laughs> your last name, whatever. I will probably offer that option. Um, since this will probably be a made to order piece, okay? So then the next part of our little letter here is, here's our favorite cookie. So I will probably position that here, being careful to make sure that my little brackets, you line that up, did I? And your holes are your guide, which I just kind of started these this afternoon. I had to kind of hurry. So it might take me a little bit to screw these in, but um, yours will be pre-drilled, okay? And then it says um, some yummy milk. So you see kind of how I'm like spreading it out. And then this last bit, which this has a bigger side right here. So I'm gonna just kind of cut it to go with the round shape. Just gotta kind of tweak it like that. It says carrots for the reindeer. So, and I might bring that piece kind of like up there. Or maybe I'll turn it a little bit. Yeah, so look, this is how we're going to lay it out. And this is gonna be so cute, you guys. I know you're excited. All right, so now that we've done that, this is the, the um, fun part. We're gonna lay each little mini stencil down, okay? So you kind of have complete control over how your thing looks. You can do it, you know, any which way you want. The, remember, the best way is to lay it up face down and then we just pull the backing off, the white paper backing. We pull that off, okay? And just making sure all your little B inside, your little O inside, your little, all the pieces are all, um, you know, intact to your stencil. So like your paper comes off clean and then you have nothing but the blue piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay that one to the side and I'm gonna lay these off to the sides and I'm gonna work my way downward, okay? Because I kinda want to make sure that I'm positioned, you know, pretty centered on this round piece of wood. That's the beauty of it. And you can't get this wrong. Like if, even if you kinda have it all grouped together, you can't get this one wrong, okay? Right, so this is coming off pretty easy. And these are real easy because they're much smaller pieces to peel. So that's some fun for you. Let's see, and I kind of like it a little off to the edge there, like Dear Santa. Let's 
see, let's do it like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this one down. And I have my little tool. I'm just gonna make sure I get all my lettering in there or all my little pieces. And then I'm gonna find a corner that's on my board. And I'm gonna peel back that top clear layer. Hey Lisa, how are you? We are making a round. I saw that you just joined us. We're making a round one today that is going to have the handles. And I'm real excited about this one. I kind of put away, I said this earlier, but I put away the design I had laid for today to the side so I could create this one because I was more excited about it. Um, <laughs> so, yes, this is real exciting. I, I love, 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 love this design. All right, so let me get, um, make sure all my little inserts are stuffed down. We started with a 12 by 12 size stencil and then we cut it to be, um, you know, little sections or little stencils and we're just working our way from the top down. So I'm making my handles, my little guides for my right and left and I'm just laying them on there for right now. They're not, they're not screwed in and we're just gonna um, lay it out. Okay, so it says, Dear Santa, here's our favorite cookie. So remember, we're gonna pick off the back white paper backing. And then make sure you get your little, see that? Do you guys see how the little blue inside of the letter came up? That's completely normal, it's just the nature of the beast. The best thing to do is push it back down with a little bit of force and then pull back, remember flat, not in an upward angle, and it'll lay right back down for you, okay? Especially with this transfer tape, it's the better kind that's more user friendly, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. And just work your way. The nice thing too about cutting your stencil like this is that it makes it a little easier to work with as smaller little stencils, so that's fun. All right, so now it says, here is our favorite cookie. So what you, the idea behind this whole um, design is that it's a serving tray, and you would bring this to the table or to the place in your living room or put it on the ottoman, and you would put, you know, there's a nice little circle right here. So it says, here's our, um, Here's our, you know, favorite cookie or whatever, right? So, okay, great. You're gonna put the little cookie right there. And then um, the next thing is, um, it, it says, here's some yummy milk, and it's got like a little boo. So you can put um, the glass of milk right there in the spot. Like each little place is designated to where um, you're gonna lay each little thing, right? Yes? I think we all understand that. I think I explained that okay. Um, I'm missing my little O piece. It looks like it came up right there. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Okay, so next one is some yummy milk. <laughs> I'm reading like I read to my, I'm reading it like I read to my kids. Hello, some yummy milk. <laughs> um, I know, maybe I'm just a little too excited about this design. So, I just think it's so adorable. And it's so fun. All right, some yummy milk. And then there's my little thing. So we read left to right. And I gotta peel my tops off too. I'm doing that as I go. Normally I'm doing the whole stencil and then peeling the tops. Since I'm doing each one, I'm gonna peel each top too as we go. That makes it a little bit easier. Oh, and I see I didn't pick out my little arrow over on this side, so I gotta pick out my little arrow. Let me do that while I see it just so I don't forget. 
Okay. All right, and the yummy milk topper. We're gonna peel the clear top. Remember, you don't peel up, you peel long and down or to the side for the best result of getting your stencil to stay in place. See how it lifted right there? Just wanna make sure it's staying in place, okay? And then, let's see. Carrots for the reindeer. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on, peeling off the back white. There's my little O sticking to my finger. Make sure all your little pieces are can hear my little kiddos out there with Luna. They're talking real sweet to her. If you're just tuning in, we, she had her little appointment today where she got fixed and that's why I had to come on live late, um, later than usual. We had to pick her up a little bit later than I thought and uh, I told him, I said, you can't really mess with her. She's just gonna lay there and, you know, just talk real sweet to her and tell her she's a good pup. <laughs> so that I can hear them out there saying that, um, to her and it's so sweet to hear it. Telling her she's a good dog. So she's got the, um, poor thing, she's got the cone of shame on her face. Poor dog, love that little Luna. Sweet girl. They brought her out to us and she's looking at me like, why, what did I do? <laughs> you know, and you always wonder, do they know? <laughs> All right, got my little E, my little dot right here, it came up. Make sure you just get it laid right back down, no worries. And then pull, pull, pull. Remember, don't pull from the top, pull down from the side. Best result would be that way. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and lay this one on that I There's a notification there. All right, so here is what it looks like. Um, With the stencils, let me turn it. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. They were my little markers just to see where they're gonna go, but now that we've got it, so it's kind of like to the side a little bit. Dear Santa, la da da da. Yes, cute, right? Okay, all right, so. Oh no, broadcast interrupted. I'm, are y'all still hearing me? Do you guys still hear me? Can you give me like a thumbs up or tell me? Are you guys still there? Says you are, I don't know. It looks like it from my side, eek. Oh, hi, I got some hands up, yay! Okay, good. All right, so the next thing is we are going to um, do a little trick. So before, so this kit is just the wood stain, and it is um, back, yay! It's um, white paint, that's the color. If you want a different color, you can get a different color, whatever. But it's gonna come with the white. But before we stencil the white, the trick is to keep it from bleeding in with our stain, you put a little bit of Mod Podge onto your board. And the reason that is, is because, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it while we talk, while I explain it. The reason we do that is because, and I'm just using a brush, but you can use a sponge, is because it allows it to make a barrier or like a coat that prevents any bleeding. In fact, you can even do this on the painted wood ones where you use acrylic paint um, because that allows it to kind of have like a topper and then if any of it does squish out through the stencil, it's clear so it won't like affect it in any way. Does that make sense? And it dries pretty quickly. You can let it sit and dry for like 15, 20 minutes, probably recommend 30 at most um, before you begin your stenciling if you like worry about that. But um, this is just a quick 
cool little tricky technique, whatever you want to call it, to kind of just set the uh, don't bleed on me kind of tone, okay, on stenciling. So this, a little bit of this kit will be included with it so that you have your Mod Podge. And you just need a little bit, like I'm not even hardly using any and I'm just going right over each little um, letter and little section where I want the stenciling to be. I'm actually stenciling it with the Mod Podge. And that just is setting the little layer, the little tone where it doesn't, you know, bleed through onto the wood stain. So that's the little trick there for wood stained projects. It also just helps it to come out a little bit more crisp, if you will, okay? So as I'm going through like some of my other ones up here, they are already dry. Where's my paper towel? And let me wipe off my excess over here where it's it's already drying, which is a good thing. That's what we want. We want it to just kind of dry and prevent it from having any, uh, whatever you want to call that, where it bleeds out through the stencil. It's just helping it the whole way. Okay. And like, I'm just kind of even taking my finger and like rubbing it over top some of it because that's probably all you need really is just that thin, 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 thin little coat. Yeah, this is already getting dry over here. So it's perfect, 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 okay? And I'm gonna go ahead, let me wipe this excess off and get over here to the next one. I have two more and then I'll just give it a minute to kind of dry. I like using my finger actually better. Make sure though that you also press your stencil down. I had a little bubble right here. And that's fine if it's bubbled up when you're doing the, um, when you're doing the Mod Podge, that's okay. Cause remember it dries clear. And the only reason why we do this, we don't do the whole board. We don't want the whole board done. We just want the part that's gonna be stenciled where the paint is. Um, because the, the stain is the beauty of the wood. So we don't wanna take away from the actual stain that it gives to the wood. Like we want to um, make sure that, you know, we preserve that beauty of it, but we don't want any leaking or seepage. So what we're doing is we're just Mod Podging that part that's being stenciled. That makes sense, hopefully. I explained that pretty well, I'm not sure. But that is a trick that you can even do on your painted wood projects is use um, a little bit of like, even glue maybe might work, but I would I would do Mod Podge because um, it's a water-based like glue and it just dries real quick and it just seals that little spot into place. And that's it. So um, already getting in there and dry in our spots. That's it. So now we've prepped it and we've made it ready for um, stenciling. I know I keep doing this with my hands. <laughs> we've made it ready for stenciling okay so now we are going to go ahead and I'm gonna give it just a minute to do a little bit of dry with that Mod Podge I'm just gonna you know fan it here like this just to kind of give it a little few minutes there and you guys tell me do you have any other like designs that you want to see now that Christmas in July is kind of wrapping up wouldn't it be fun to kind of do some fall ones or everyday ones like laundry or I don't know, wouldn't it be fun to do something like that? So you guys tell me, what would you like to see? Cause I think next week I'll go live maybe twice and do some new designs throughout the week and kind of share those and add those up into the website so that you guys can see them. Um, different fall ones. I have, there's one that I really, really want to do really bad. And then I have one that I might just go ahead and show you guys tomorrow morning when I pick the winner, um, from our sprinklers, our sprinklers. You guys like that word sprinkler. All right. So it looks pretty dry. It's a matte finish. So we don't want any gloss to it. 
And there's our stencil so far. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and get to our paint part, um, which is the easiest part and my favorite part of the entire project, um, which is kind of just blotting the paint and blotting the paint. And I'm gonna work my way again from the top down because our um, design, that's where I put the Mod Podge part from the beginning. That is where um, we kind of want, whoops, I needed to wipe a little bit there. We want that design to kind of just set right in. So, just taking my little sponge and blotting in the paint right there into my design. And I blot, I get the sponge into the corner of the paint and then I kind of blot it off to the side before I actually blot onto my project. Um, that just kind of helps it not have too, too much paint and again to avoid any kind of um, bleeding on the design, okay? We don't want it to squish out or anything like that. And so that is one way to do that is to have a little bit of less paint on your sponge. And then you also want to do, um, when it comes to like white and bright colors on darker colors, like in this case, this is a wood, you kind of want to do more than one color um, or more than one coat, just to kind of make it a little bit more potent or a little bit more vibrant, I should say. I wouldn't say potent, I don't know, a little stronger thing there, okay? All right, so while I'm doing this, you guys tell me what kind of fall designs would you like to see? What kind of fall would you like to see? Would you like to see like phrases? Would you like to see, I don't know. What would you like to see? I'm, I wanna know, inquiring minds wanna know, what would you like to see for fall? or even Halloween. I'm excited to do um, the fall, but I'm not a big spooky kind of like Halloween person. My kids like the spooky decor, but I just kind of like cute and fun. Like that's my theme for Halloween. And it seems so far off from now. I don't really want to think about Halloween, but Halloween is out in the stores, believe it or not. Um, I saw some stuff the other day, kind of just went on by. I got a little bit there, a little bit too much right there. So hopefully I didn't leak through right there. We will see. But if I did, um, you know, you can kind of, you can't really go back and touch this one up with the stain. So that's why you got to be careful that it doesn't um, bleed through. And that's why we put the Mod Podge on ahead of time just to prevent that as much as possible. Okay. All right, so we're still going along here. A little bit halfway through, and we're gonna do a little bit more of a coat at the top. Because I had a little bit less paint up there, it looks like. this this is a super cute design Ooh, I went over a little bit on my stencil so if you see that you did that just get it up real quick you don't want it to set into your wood kind of got it going on right there a little bit um, sometimes if you have a little bit of water nearby that helps you kind of wash it off so just make sure, that's the only thing about cutting up your stencil. If you cut too close to a part that needs to be, you know, stenciled, 
you might, you know, go over with your blotting. So just be very aware when you're cutting it that you're leaving yourself a little bit of space so that you can actually blot and stencil where you need to. Like right there, it's just right on the edge. Super cute, this is so cute. Okay, so now I'm just finishing up right down here. And what I'm going to do is do a little bit of second coat here and there where it, it definitely needs it, um, just to kind of help it set. And this one is, you know, a lot of fun and it's fairly quick. This one went by very quick for being um, such a cute little design. It's a heavy piece of wood. It's adorable. Um, fun and easy project that you can do. You can do any colors you want. You could still do like reds and greens. I just like the look of the stained wood with the white font. I just think that's real beautiful. It's classy. It's a little timeless. Yet the project itself is fun for the kiddos. So, you know, how fun um, is it to do this with them? You guys could all get a little blotter and blot a section and each person kind of have their little spot that they did on here and it makes a great little tray. You could even use it like the next morning with charcuterie boards. You could even do, you know, a little display of your meats and cheese or crackers and fruit. How fun would that be the next day? All right, so I got this right here. Almost done, guys, in the home stretch of it. Just getting my blotting down pat here. My blotting game is strong. I'm getting real good at this. Maybe that's why this one seems a little faster. I'm just getting faster. I don't know if it seems fast to you guys. You can't really tell me right now, but <laughs> I hope it's faster. It feels faster. All right, here we go. And I think this is a super cute design to like end the Christmas in July on a Friday. How perfect to end with this cute, adorable one. I love it. I'll be putting up more Christmas ones as we go through, but I'm going to do a switch over to... Um, fall and get um, some fall things going and I have some like laundry room designs and personalization designs where you can like add your name to it like your family name um, that sort of thing and so I'll be doing that and trying to get the website updated I added all the ones up through yesterday today so they're available there in that link and if you guys have any questions about it I'm happy to answer them so right now I'm just going to give it some little air remember once you've laid down your um, stencil and you've done your paint you don't want to apply any heat to this after you've done this the only way you would apply a heat um, to this is if You've painted the board and it's before you lay the stencil and you want to speed the dry process time up. You can take your hair dryer to it and do it earlier. I did say in the week to do a heat gun, but I was talking with my hubs about that and he was recommended no heat gun, just the, um, he's a firefighter by the way, so he knows it's heat. Um, <laughs> because it's a little bit better, you know, it's a little lower, um, I don't know what the term is, but it's, it's better option. So no heat gun, do a hair dryer, okay? Most of us have that anyway in the house over a heat gun. So use that as your go-to, but don't do it after you've laid the stencil down. So, and that's in the instructions. You don't wanna apply heat to this stencil-y material because it's like a plastic. It will melt and who knows what. So no heat, you gotta just good old fashioned time or fanning it like I'm doing right here. All right, so once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it upside down so I can peel each little stencil, starting with the one that I started with as I go, okay? 
and we're just gonna lift up and peel slowly and like I said at an angle just to kind of reveal our little design Cute and fun. I love this little design. You guys, it looks so cute. You're going to love it. I already love it. <laughs> you definitely want to make sure that this is dry um, before you go using it and putting anything on it. And you can even put like a seal on it. Um, if you want to, Let's see here. I would leave it more of a matte tone. That's just my choosing or my preference, but it's totally up to you what you do. Hello, I think we have some more people joining us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn a little bit around and go to this one. That's the one I did second. I'm just going to lift it up slowly, kind of at an angle. This one has a lot of O's in it and E's. So I got to go in there and pick out those little tiny pieces. I know it's not the most fun part, but it's worth it. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is so cute. This is the part where it says, here's our favorite cookie. Here's our favorite cookie. So you guys tell me in the comments, what cookie would you be laying down right now? What cookie? We would be putting down, our family, we love chocolate chip. So we would be putting down chocolate chip cookies on this section of the board what cookie would you put I would I definitely we wouldn't be doing no oatmeal raisin like that's just not us it's not that we don't like it but it's not our go-to cookie probably because of the raisins and kids but what would you be putting down would you put down sugar would it be decorated what would it be what kind of cookie don't be saying a fig newton I know some of y'all like those <laughs> we'd be putting down chocolate chip all right, here we go. Do that. I'm trying to not get my hand in the other part so then I don't smear paint. So remember I said I put a little bit of heavy paint in that one section. You can kind of see real, real close where it bled down into the wood a little bit. It's not that noticeable from up here, but that's why we put the clear coat of the Mod Podge on to prevent that as much as possible. That step alone is um, like gold when it comes to doing a stained wood project and then a painted design on top without it it just it doesn't look as clean so don't skip that step okay um because i can't save it for you sorry but you want to make sure that you do that step and give it some time to dry it probably wouldn't happen if i had a little bit more of it there or i gave it a little bit more time to dry it would have been okay all right so let me go back to this one and lift this up. We're almost done with it. This is super cute. I'm loving it so, so much. And getting to these little E's and little O's. They're like in every little um, part of it here. And then I have a whole insert on my um, carrot that has little tiny pieces as well. Let me see if it's one, I think it's one little piece. Yeah, it's one piece. It's all connected, but it just kind of doesn't look like it. Okay. See, 
chocolate chip. Joyce said chocolate chip. Me too, Joyce, all day long. Kind of makes me want some right now, actually, thinking about it. All right, so there's that one. Last one of the stencils and then all I have to do is just screw in the handles and show you guys what it looks like as a little tray. How cute is this gonna be? This is so adorable. Got a little piece right there. And this is the part that's like, it looks like a little tag or like a little present and it just says, love your favorites. <laughs> like we're your favorite. So, here we go. Ugh, I know, I can't pick it up fast enough. You guys are ready to see it, and I can't get it up fast enough. I'm ready to see it, too. I promise you. All right, let's see. Got that little A. Working my way to the O. This little, work, I had a little bleeding on this one right here. Either I didn't let it dry enough or I didn't put enough. But again, it's still not a bad um, design. It doesn't, it didn't come out bad or anything. And it's um, super cute. Okay, so next, the last part is just to get your handles on there. Um, it comes with these little handles. They're easy to screw in from the top. It's not like your average drawer pull where you have to screw it from the bottom because if so, that would not work at all. And I'm using a drill gun. You don't have to have a drill gun. A household drill will work just as good. And there's the one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it. It is so adorable. All right, and let me see, I have a runaway screw. <laughs> All right, so, and I kind of put my handles, just so you know, I put them in the like, not slight middle, but kind of like more into the bottom middle, if that makes sense, just to kind of have it with the Dear Santa part being more predominant. Oops. Okay, make sure I'm lined up there. Last one. And like I said, um, you might want to do something to put a seal on it, like a matte finish so you don't take away from the wood on this, just so when you put the food on it, it's safe. But look, guys, this is so adorable. It's got the handles, so you can carry it. I definitely would stain the back side um, as well, just so it kind of blends a little bit better. But look how cute this is. It's got the handles, and it's... You know, I mean, it is a couple pounds of thing, but it's not that bad. Like, it's so durable, so cute. Dear Santa, here's our favorite cookie. Some yummy milk, and you've got the little milk. And then it says carrots for the reindeer. And then it's got a little arrows, and it says carrots. And then love your favorites. Look how cute, guys. So adorable. Thanks for sprinkling. Make sure you sprinkle. I'm gonna do the drawing tomorrow. Um, because it's going to give people a little bit more time. I went on a little later today and, um, my little pet, she, <laughs> I keep saying this, she had a little surgery today. So we're taking care of her once I get off this live. And so I just need to make sure that she's all good and I won't be having time to count up everything. So it'll give me a little more time, extra hours to get it all together in the morning um, and get it all set up for you guys. So how adorable is this? Super cute. Do you guys love it? I love it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in every single day this week with Christmas in July. I absolutely loved it, everyone. I've had so much fun doing these. I've had tons of ideas. I love seeing your comments. You guys are awesome. Um, it has just been so much fun for me. So I totally appreciate that. I do plan to try, I'm gonna go live tomorrow and do our drawing for our winner for a free ca uh, craft kit. Um, if you wanna see the kits that I've already loaded up so far this week, 
then you can click the link that's in the post here. And then what we will do is um, I will start adding in fall designs and all of that and putting those up as well. And next week I will probably go live with some more fall kits. Tomorrow, I do have some projects going around the house, but I want to, I will try my best to um, go live and just show you a, a sign that I have been wanting to make before all of these kits happen. So I'm going to be using some materials that I've had um, and I can share where I got all of those things so you can venture out and make your own. So the one that I plan to make tomorrow is not a kit and it's going to be super adorable though but I'm putting together different things from different stores like Dollar Tree and all these things. So um, and it will be a sign. So I am excited about it but I don't want you to be too too excited about it because it's not a kit that I can put together. Um, it's going to be one of those that you kind of have to hunt on your own. But there will be fall kits um, next week that you can order and put together. So um, I'm having a lot of fun with wood and so I'm really excited to see where this cracking journey goes. Thanks you guys. I will see you soon. Bye bye.